everyone. Here's part two of our series. Um, so today I'm going to be going around the house collecting the samples that we put out and we're going to check out what we have. Um, disclaimer, I did have to take the ones from outside in two days earlier because it started to snow here like crazy and then it was raining for the next two days anyway so there's no point of putting them back outside. Um, so we will still look at those results. They're only three-day results. The other ones are five, so the indoor ones. So stay tuned for the rest. All right, part two, the results of our air pollution activity. So let's start by collecting our stuff. Here's bedroom one. Try to zoom in. Can't see much. Collected the rest from the bedroom. Oh, there's Minnie. Hi, Minnie. Welcome to part two of our series. Oh, cute. So here's kitchen one as it still hangs. Let's get it down as well. Um, and look at all three of them. I will look into more detail or look at them in, with more detail in a bit. As you see, this one, you can't tell anything. So again, if you have a magnifying glass, you could use it now. If not, you could just use your eyes or you could use the zoom function of your camera. No! Look at all the snow. Shoot. Okay guys, so it started raining here now. Not raining, it's snowing, but it's like rain. Um, so now I gotta take down my things. So the front yard ones, we could tell are quite dirty and we have some rain droplets on them, so it's best to take them in. And even the backyard ones, um, they all got pretty wet. Hopefully this doesn't affect our end result. When we do look at them, And here are the ones from outside. They're still wet, so we're going to wait for them to dry off, and then we're going to have a look at them later on. Okay, so bedroom one, uh, using my microscope, you can't really see much. There is like one or two little dots. Bedroom two is pretty much the same thing. Um, you can't see with the camera, but I could see with my eyes. There were a few dots. Better three can't see anything because of uh, the dark color and also the Vaseline spread. So kitchen one is also, there's like a few black dots. Kitchen two, also a few dots, but cannot see it with the camera even. I'm trying to zoom in. Front yard one is quite dirty. A lot of stuff did fly onto it. So this one probably is the most covered with debris. Stuff in the air. Front yard two has a few things. It wasn't flying around, but it was still able to catch quite a few specks from outside. And then again, you can't really see front yard three because it got really dark. And same with backyard three. There's a few white dots. Uh, backyard one has a few... Uh, particles on it, um, not anything crazy. Backyard 2 though had a lot more. Um, it's You could tell here that there are more dots. Now that we're done looking at everything, we can fill in our charts. So the one that we created a few days ago. So I just kind of included in here how there are a few black dots or some debris on the, um, on the pieces of milk carton. Uh, the ones that don't have anything, I said can't see anything, and pretty much just summarize what I saw on them. So take your time filling it out. I then marked the ones that were the most dirty and which ones were kind of similar. By looking at my chart, I can conclude that there aren't too many particles floating around in my front yard and backyard, as well as kitchen and bedroom uh, that are seen to the naked eye. I then thought it was interesting to look at the air quality uh, from my area in the last few days. So I looked up from the town I am living in. Uh, it is quite small, so of course the air quality is a bit better, but then I decided to look at Kitchener, which is the bigger city beside me. Uh, I kind of just chose any site here. Oh, and as you could tell, the air quality is pretty good. I wanted to compare it given that maybe it has changed since people don't really drive as much anymore. Uh, it seems that the air quality here is just pretty good um, all the time. And 
nothing has really changed too much. Um, that's like another thing you could look at for yourself. I know what you probably collected on your milk cartons. Can't really tell you if their quality is any worse, um, but it is just kind of something you could look up for fun. I looked at then um, real-time air quality around the world. As you could tell, some of the cities who have pretty unhealthy air qualities, a lot of them here as we see in parts of Asia and then verse also the bigger cities in the states like San Francisco, uh, LA. If you zoom in a bit, uh, if you want to kind of find exact cities, there is, yeah, you could pretty much look up anything you want on here, which is really cool. So maybe look for the town I worked in recently, which was in Pickmobert First Nation. Uh, being that they're a bit smaller, they're not on the map, but we do have Thunder Bay, so you see their quality is good there. If you guys want, you could look at really any town uh, around you, the biggest city around you. And there's many one last time before we end our video, and just a thank you for everyone who has followed along. Bye!